So that was the before photo just before I take off. We caught up with Bud Siddick putting his images of the fiery landing on his laptop. And this is about two minutes after our landing in the cornfield in Illinois. And then his flying fortress was seven minutes out from the Chicagoland area heading to an air show in Indianapolis when flames were spotted in the left wing by a pilot in a plane flying low cover for the bomber. He made a second call and said, um, you guys are really burning, you need to get it uh, on the ground, put it in the field. The pilots realized they couldn't make it back to the skyport, so they idled their engines, put the landing gear down, feathered the number two engine, and looked for an unobstructed cornfield. We made a very, very smooth landing. The, the landing was uneventful, quite frankly. Once we got it on the ground, we uh, smoothly rolled out down through the, the corn rows and came to a very comfortable stop. There were five passengers aboard uh, with, with the two of us and uh, they egressed out the back of the airplane and we went out the, the crew hatch just below the flight deck up, up front. The fire was small and didn't involve the engines. If fire crews could have rolled through the muddy field, the vintage craft would have been saved. But like passengers and crew, firefighters could only watch it burn. We stood in front of that airplane for the next 35 minutes and watched it burn up, burn to embers. Heartbreaking and gut-wrenching watching the, the grand old lady just sit there and burn.